Hey guys, it's Journal Aviation Guru. Uh, we're at the airport today. Unfortunately, not able to fly, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back in the sky soon. But we're here in Zero Four Uniform. There's uh, Five Army Alpha behind me. And, you know, a lot of people have the question on how exactly they can record uh, great aviation footage, but also get that crucial cockpit audio that is makes an audience really enjoy your videos. And in order to record cockpit audio, you have to be able to feed the feed, uh, not to use the same word twice, into an audio recorder that is fed into your headsets. And there's really two ways that I say are the best to do that. There's a cheaper way and there's a more expensive way, as always. So the cheaper way is to actually use the headphones that you use to listen to your music on a daily basis. I don't listen to music, but a lot of people do, so I'll, I'll just use that. But a lot of people like to listen to music, so and they have and you need headphones to listen to music. I hope it's rude to play music out loud. So uh, here are your headphones, right? And you take your headphones and you grab your audio recorder. We'll talk a, bit, a little bit more about which kind of audio recorder you need to buy later. Uh, but for this method, any pretty much any audio recorder that can do mic in will work. When you plug in the mic, it gives that little beep. And it allows you to choose between audio in and mic in. On this recorder, or in any recorder that allows you to choose between audio in and mic in, you have to choose mic in when you're using this method because the headphones are actually just working backwards as a microphone because you're, the sound is vibrating, the, the, uh, the film there, and it transmits backwards to the lines that would usually come forwards to give you audio. What you do is you put your headsets on. You also need to plug them up, obviously. So we'll uh, plug them up here. Now you got your headsets on, you're ready to fly, you know, all the clutter's gone, but just for right now, you drop these in your in the cups of your headsets. You don't have to put them in your ears. Actually, you probably shouldn't. Put them in your ears and you press record, okay? Once you press record, it's actually recording everything that your headsets hear. The levels in your headsets and the ambient noise is well loud enough to be able to pick up on what's going on uh, with the outside surroundings, uh, which is not our primary focus. The passive noise reduction actually though reduces that to a certain extent, but you're obviously not gonna get the best quality because of that that act that it's not active noise canceling and you're getting that outside noise. However, the sound from the ATC is loud enough to come in here and you're gonna get decent quality audio. All of the videos on my channel that you see right now use this method. I just upgraded to the next method that we're about to talk about, which is the better method, but this is the cheaper method. And if you don't have time to you know, go out and order these things, then definitely you can start with this. The best way to order these kinds of things is to go on eBay and look for yourself uh, you know, some headphones if you need them and an audio recorder. I suggest the Sony brand. Uh, definitely you're, wanna, you're gonna look, wanna look at the PX line the ME AX line because those will have the best quality and be able to choose between audio in and mic in which is really what you want to do and so that you can you absolutely 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 have to have a an audio recorder that allows you to transfer the audio files from here to your computer via USB if you do not do that what you end up in this you end up in the situation of you having to play the audio back here through a mic cord onto your computer through an audio cord back onto your computer. So, so if you if you fly for an hour and a half, you have to play this for your computer for an hour and a half and have your computer re-record it, which can lower the quality and definitely is is complete waste of time. So get an audio recorder that has USB input. Uh, Sony is obviously the, the the golden standard, I think, and that kind of thing. Don't be afraid to buy used. I bought this one used and it's in great condition. Look, just make sure you buy from a reputable seller and you'll be great. Now, the next method, which is the better method, is this one. Right, th right here, if you, check, if you check on your headsets, the cord that brings the audio out of the intercom and sends it to your headset is a quarter-inch male cord. So, if you can split that quarter-inch male uh, input there, that jack, then you can have one going to your headset and one going to a recorder. So, what you, want, what you do is you go out and buy a quarter-inch male, to dual quarter inch female. Once you've got that cord, you plug it in. You're gonna need another cord. We'll talk about that in a minute. And your headset goes into one of the duplicated jacks you have here now. The next thing that's important to do is to 
order another chord. This chord is a quarter inch male to an eighth inch male. The eighth inch male is the headphone jack on all devices uh, and the mic jack. So what you do is you plug this into the other female port here and then this goes into your audio recorder. Now if you're going to use this method, this is why it's really important. You can get a standard audio recorder that's not PX or AX series for, you can get a B series audio recorder for the other method. But for this one you have to have a, a PX or an AX series because you have to be able to choose audio in. This is, not, this is a line and input so you need to choose audio in to play it back properly or you're going to get really scratchy recorded audio. So you choose it, you choose audio in, when you're ready to fly you press record and then you just put you know put on the hold function as you wish and drop it in the map pocket and you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to touch it, you don't have to think about it and you know it's cool throughout the flight, you don't have any anything cumbersome going on with your headset, you just throw them on and mic and bring your mic down and you're comfortable and you're ready to fly, nothing uh, messing you up in the head here and everything's tucked away nicely and it's recording, your camera here is doing exactly what you want it to do and all you got to do is set it up before you get in the flight. The setup you see right now, I do this before I start my pre-flight inspection. So after I do this, then, you know, I reach in the back, grab the grab the logbook, sign the airplane out, turn the master switch on, check the uh, the turn coordinator, just run through all the checks. And then, you know, it flaps down, you do your pre-flight. But what I mean, what I do that to say is, once you've done those things, and by things I mean set up this stuff, you don't have to worry about it ever again. All you do is when you hop in the airplane, press record on everything, and then you're good to go. This obviously is the best method. So I'll recap on this one. Quarter inch male to dual quarter inch female. One going to your headset, one going into the quarter inch male to eighth inch male uh, cord here, and then that eighth inch male going into your audio recorder using audio in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it clarifies uh, a little bit on how I like to record cockpit audio, some of the better ways to, to do it, and it, to really make great aviation footage. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one, which will hopefully be uh, actually flying. So see you later. Share Aviation, a network for pilots by pilots.